The world's first 200 megapixel phone is here, the Moto X30 Pro. Not just that, it has a 125 watt fast charging, Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 Plus chip, 144 hertz display, 60 megapixel front camera. Is this the most ultra phone of 2022? How much of a difference does a 200 megapixel camera brings compared to a 12 megapixel iPhone 13 Pro Max and 108 megapixel Samsung sensor? Let's find out. First up, unboxing. Motorola has been very generous to put everything in the box, so we're getting a protective case, a built-in free 125 watt fast charger, and USB C to C cable for charging the phone. And finally, we have the star of the show, the Moto X30 Pro with a very traditional design. Believe it or not, it's been years since I featured a Motorola flagship on my channel. The bag is made up of plastic with two Motorola logos. It feels nice in hand with a pretty slim design for a 4600 milliampere battery that charges 50% in just 9 minutes and 0-100% to in 19 minutes which is just absolute madness. As impressive that is, I know we are most interested in that 200 megapixel sensor, the HP One in action. So by default, the images are captured at 48 megapixel resolution. This phone has something called AI Smart Resolution feature, which is turned on by default. It uses the higher megapixels to bring more detail, but also not too many megapixels so that it does have that color science going on. Images are pretty flagship level, but for the ultimate detail, we have to switch to the ultra 200 megapixel mode and this is what it can do it is very very sharp indeed as you can see it destroys the iphone 13 pro max and its 12 megapixel sensor but the difference compared to the 108 megapixel sensor of the s22 ultra it's not that much it's definitely sharper but the difference is not as much as you would expect still i'm very happy to see the level of detail that can be achieved through this sensor now i thought the phone would take long to process these 200 megapixel shots but it's actually pretty quick with file sizes going close to 60 mb per image it's safe to say that for a 200 megapixel camera phone we definitely need more storage on board now as for video this phone can shoot up to 8k but motorola has some weird issues going on where the autofocus isn't working in the 8k mode as well as 4k 60 fps mode but as soon as i switch to full hd mode it starts to work like magic they definitely need to fix this autofocus issue as for the video quality the hp1 captures great colors and good dynamic dynamic range. Like I said, Motorola is not known for their best camera processing, so in terms of ultra low light scenario, it is beaten by the Galaxy S22 Ultra's Isocell HM3 sensor. You can clearly see the difference. No matter the megapixels, image processing is the make or break when it comes to smartphone cameras, so I'm really looking forward to what Samsung can do when they bring their custom 200 megapixel sensor in 2023. In terms of detail, a 200 megapixel sensor can definitely get the most on a smartphone if it's being shot in a well-lit environment. Let me know what you think about the differences in the comment section below. Now, as for the other specs, it's pretty usual. Performance-wise, we have the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, one with 12 gigs of ram this thing is absolutely butter out of the box especially with that 144 hertz oled full hd panel it's bright and curved with very minimal bezels i'm not sure if this is a ltpo panel but efficiency and battery wise in my brief usage it's been pretty good like i said the crazy thing is the fast charging i plugged the phone when it was about at 25 percent i scrolled some tiktoks and when i picked up the phone it was already at 96 percent Sand. The future is indeed fast charging and 125 watts is an incredible, incredible number to have. Something that I would love for both Samsung or Apple to adopt sometime in the future. Software wise, we have Android 12 with custom Motorola skin. It is pretty usual. We've got some fun stuff. You can make your own theme by choosing your own icon pack as well as the color palette and wallpaper. We've got an edge lighting feature, which is similar to Samsung, where the phone will let you know when you get the notification and the custom home screen watch widget is pretty cool now this phone isn't available worldwide so it's only china exclusive so you don't get play store by default and it does come with some chinese applications that you can uninstall if you want for the pricing this phone is about 700 dollars so 
based on that value we do have pretty good specs going on but there we go this is the moto x30 pro with the first 200 megapixel sensor in the world made by samsung this phone can definitely bring the most detailed images on any phone right now but the image processing and the night mode capabilities are not pushed to the limits which is something that other brands especially google samsung and apple that are known for their image processing they can definitely do more justice to this sensor level uh, i would love to see what samsung will do on their own phone very likely the s23 ultra will be the first one to have this amount of megapixels but let me know what you think in the comment section below with that being said i'll see you guys later peace out